scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Spirit of God, who is truly qualified to teach about you, who is truly, truly qualified to teach about you. Hallelujah. Can any man really have the right to teach about him based on what experience? You can teach on financing because you have so much with respect to the richest man. You can teach about academics with respect to a professor's standard. You can teach about family life with respect to a model family. But what is the reference when you teach about the Holy Spirit? What standard qualifies us to talk about Him? This, this is not a, an issue of condemnation. This is an acknowledgement that we know so little. So little. So little. The best of us, the greatest of us is only a toddler. In the matters of the spirit the highest of us i'm telling you this paul at the end of his life said that i may know him what what, what is the accolade is it because you heal the sick what now is the reference that you will use to teach about him the holy spirit the most misunderstood personality We're under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. I am under the shadow of your wings. Truly, your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your influence. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your
what has made our lives what it is their spirit of the living God tonight I will only attempt only attempt only attempt by your grace and mercy to help your people know you what pride to try to teach men about you who can who has the experience who has the experience who has the power and the wisdom by what standard but we beckon on your grace because we are partners on the strength of intimacy we pray oh god that the communication of our faith tonight will be effectual let it edify your body lord i pray that i will teach with accuracy let your people understand you for the kings to arise for the mantles to return for the boris to arise mordecai is to arise yeah. Ali, Ali. Hallelujah. Help us tonight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. I just want you to sit down quietly and just carry something to write. Be very sensitive tonight. From my time of prayer, I knew that this series would be an extraordinary one. And the Spirit of the Lord told me that He wants this message to spread like fire to the body. There are not many messages where the Lord speaks to me about it. This message will create an effect in ministries, in lives. See, no matter what you think you know about the Holy Spirit, just drop it aside and listen. The maker of men. The maker of men. The maker of men. The Holy Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Give us wisdom the holy spirit part one demons will cry out tonight i tell you i tell you yokes will be broken tonight is another miracle service just the teaching you dare not call him the holy spirit is not just a force as you will be learning when you learn his presence you will see how cheap satan is An unfakeable reality you can't fake it no mimicking if it is not him then it is not him it's as simple as that Zechariah chapter 4 we're going to read two scriptures tonight as we begin the Holy Spirit is the series we'll read it and then I'll give you the course content and then we'll start Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 inside outside online if you can follow one to read then he answered and spake unto me saying aha uh -huh, this is the word of the lord to zerubbabel saying not by might not by power but by my spirit so he shows you the key he's revealing something to zerubbabel don't waste your time this thing is not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit second scripture very quickly second corinthians 13 verse 14. let's read it everyone it's projected one to read the grace of our lord jesus christ uh-huh and the communion of the holy ghost if you can have it in amplified that would be great the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ just keep the scripture there the love of God and the communion 
it says the grace favor and spiritual blessing of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the presence and fellowship listen the communion and sharing together and participation of the holy ghost these three mysteries should be with you the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god you have these two alone you will fail in life and the communion of the holy spirit so let's take down the course content tonight is part one we're going to consider the concept of the trinity very quickly just some little theological housekeeping the concept of the trinity and then the person of the holy spirit the next thing we're going to consider is the person of the holy spirit we're going to be examining who the holy spirit is then number three the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit then number four the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit it's not the same thing i said the third thing is the ministry of the holy spirit and then the fourth thing is the ministry of the spirit the bible says he has made us able ministers of the spirit the ministry of the spirit hallelujah wherever we stop tonight we'll stop and then we'll take now let's start with the concept of the trinity i want to give us some theological background so that we will really have that understanding look up please theologically speaking there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but you will not find direct reference to them in the bible there are certain words that are of common usage among the body of christ and uh, i hope you know theologically speaking that christianity what we call the faith life was an extension it came as a branching out from judaism are we together judaism is a practice that is hinged in the revelation of the god of abraham isaac and jacob that's where the journey so the jews from where there is also a branching out of islam a branching out of judaism today and certain different branches you notice that most of these religions from the story of abraham they agree then as you branch different kinds of confusion and misunderstanding starts so there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but they are not directly referenced in scripture one of those words is the word rapture we use it to mean a system where believers are transited out of this realm you know there are references like that but you do not find a single word rapture in the bible there is no mention of the word rapture now when you study systematic theology it's a system where you are able to use scriptures and draw meanings it is the basis for establishing doctrines it is the basis for explaining scripture according to systematic theology scripture must explain scripture are we together now for any teaching to become a doctrine the theological condition is that number one that thought that line of thought must be referenced in the old testament that's the first condition condition number two jesus who is the bridge between the old and the new must communicate that thought too in his earth work and then number three it must be referenced in the life of the early church any thought that is referenced in the old testament testified by jesus himself and experienced by the early church 
um, fulfills the condition to be a doctrine so you you can use one scripture to buttress on a point but that scripture isolated in its own cannot form a doctrine are we together now yeah so there are many scriptures although the word rapture is not mentioned there are many scriptures from the old testament jesus himself testified of a possibility that a time will come when he can take people to where he is in john 14 remember i go to prepare a place when i prepare the place i will come and take you so that where i am there you may be also and then paul in his pauline epistles began to open to the church the possibility of a mass exodus that he was using that scripture to comfort bereaved people and he said that they should not weep like those who do not have hope for a time will come there will be a trumpet that will be blasted and they who are dead in christ will arise first is that true and we who are alive will be caught up that experience of being caught up is what was coined that we call rapture so you cannot say rapture is not a doctrine or it's not in the bible in fact it's one of the seven tenets what we call the tenets of the christian faith i will teach you in a separate series there are seven tenets like pillars of the christian faith if you are a christian there are seven major truths you must believe number one you must be don't write it i'm just giving you a teaser number one you must believe in the mystery of the incarnation god becoming a man the bible calls it the mystery of godliness you can't just believe in a savior just like that the first thing you must believe is that there is a supreme god in heaven are we together now and then you believe in the incarnation you believe in the virgin birth you must believe in the earth walk and the sinlessness of jesus you must believe in the fact that he died and died on the cross if you believe jesus died in a motor accident you are not a christian there he, he must that cross must be there are we together you must believe that when he died he didn't go to heaven he went to hell because that's where sinners go to really hades the place of departed spirits and gehenna the place of the dead there was a transaction that happened there you must believe he rose up after three days not one week you must believe that he appeared to many in the streets of jerusalem you must believe he ascended to heaven according to hebrews offered his blood upon the tabernacle of heaven then you must believe in his return if you do not believe these things you are not a christian it's as simple as that no matter your denomination this is the id card of christians these seven things another series will explain them another word i'm still giving an introduction to the concept of the trinity another word is trinity you never find the word trinity mentioned in scripture there is no reference theologically speaking from genesis to revelation where in these 66 books you hear the word trinity are we together now so i want to establish it because when we are talking about the holy spirit there are many denominations today sadly who do not believe he's a person who do not even believe in his existence there are many christian sects who have all kinds of debates and all of that so before i begin to talk about this most precious personality i must establish from the word of god is there such a doctrine as the doctrine of the trinity the triune nature of god three persons coexisting in one is it biblical and is it true so what is the proof of the triune nature of god the first evidence i'll give you a few scriptures and i want us to hurry up because you will need this to be the foundation of your confidence as we learn about god and then the holy spirit media you will help us we need a lot of speed genesis chapter 1 we'll look at verse 1 to 3 then we'll go to 26. the first reference of the possibility of the existence of god manifested as more than one person genesis chapter 1 it says in the beginning god now i want you to know that the old testament was written in hebrew a uh, part of latin was also added to it but largely hebrew and then the new testament was written largely in greek and aramaic are we together now so the expressions um when you read them from the greek context 
Greek and um, Hebrew, sorry, is a very rich communication. It can break words. One word can have several meanings based on whatever context. This is what was referenced here. English calls God, God, but in the Hebrew, it can tell you whether it is plural or singular. So the Bible says, in the beginning, God. The word God there in the Hebrew is Elohim. And Elohim is always in plural. The singular is Eloha, one of the parties. So we see here that the Bible is referencing based on the Hebrew manuals that this personality is not just an individual. God created the heavens and the earth. Then verse 2. And the earth was form, was without form, void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Hebrew rendition of darkness and voidness is tohu wa bohu. It is darkness and confusion. The same word that is referenced in Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Behold, darkness and gross darkness. The same word is used here. I'm just giving you some theological foundation and then the bible says and the spirit of god now take note the first single personality of the trinity revealed from scripture is not the father not the word who we now call the son jesus yeshua but the spirit of god are we together now it says and the spirit of god moved round the face of the water so we see one manifestation of the trinity verse 3 and god said elohim Elohim, 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 let there be. Really, the, the context here is actually Eloha, but I'm saying God at work. Elohim, because He is speaking. Are we together? It didn't just say God appeared. Are we together? But God spoke the word. So we see the word, we see God, we see the Spirit. Are we together now? Then in verse 26, it says, And Elohim, the same word is used again, said, Let us, let us, a classic confirmation. It didn't say, Let me, and Elohim, a discussion in heaven going on. Let us. Now, maybe I should tell you that the original names of God or the titles God was never called father the concept of God uh, being called father was a revelation that Jesus brought are we together now yes the word father means Abba comes from the Greek word it means your source and sustainer but father like a procreator a progenitor of a personality was never used in the Old Testament for God are we together they understood fatherhood but not referenced to god they knew him as the almighty god they encountered him but that knowledge as father his original name as revealed to the people was el shaddai el shaddai el shaddai the deity that is limited the expression there is the multi-breasted one like a mother breastfeeds her child now he has such abundance of supply it's an attempt to explain his limitless dimension and then jesus according to revelations 19 his name was never known and called jesus except even by prophecy it was emmanuel are we together it was a name that was given by the angel to mary that they would call him in his earth work his original name john 1 1 revelations 19 was and will always be the word and then the spirit of god now the bible uses a very interesting word he never really began to express him as the holy spirit notice that he called him the spirit of god um are you following me when you call him holy spirit you are right but classically speaking you are wrong because god is a spirit and he is holy jesus is a spirit although he ascended with a body he is holy are we together the holy spirit as a person is a spirit and he is holy you as a person you are a spirit and you are holy so if i call you holy spirit it's still not it's still theologically correct so we just call him holy spirit because of the unique reference to him 
but it is rather an attempt to describe him the name the standard name that the bible calls him is the spirit of god no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the spirit of that man the spirit of god i will use the word holy spirit for for us but i, I just i'm giving us a background so we see in genesis 1 26 let us make the trinity the next reference very quickly at the baptism of jesus in matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 please give it to us but john forbade him this is the baptism of jesus look up everyone john is baptizing people now and then all of a sudden jesus shows up behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world jesus is coming to be baptized and then john you know he said no 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 no. i also need this baptism and then why will you come to me 15 jesus said suffer it to be so that scriptures will be all righteousness will be fulfilled and then he permitted him verse 16 and jesus when he was baptized so we see jesus god in the flesh the son of god by reason of their office the second person of the trinity then the bible says when he came out of the water lo the heavens were open and what do you see there the spirit of god another personality jesus is in the earth the heavens are open we see another personality descending in the similitude of a dove then the bible says descending like a dove and lighting upon him 17 and a voice so we see jesus on earth the holy spirit is coming upon him and a voice of another personality who is not the holy spirit and is not jesus speaking this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him and all of that so i'm showing you from scripture that the trinity the concept of the trinity is biblical two more proofs ready matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 this is jesus now teaching the disciples himself jesus himself is teaching the disciples matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 matthew 28 matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 matthew 28 matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 and jesus came and spake unto them saying everybody listen all power the word there is exousia is given unto me in heaven and in earth 19 go ye therefore this is jesus teaching and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father in the name of and in the name of the holy ghost jesus himself acknowledged the fact that they were a trion reality in the in the realm of the spirit the godhead expressed in three personalities ready for one last proof Acts chapter 7 verse 54 to 59 Acts chapter 7 this was when Stephen was about to be martyred the Bible says something happened when they heard these things that Stephen now the martyr the first recorded martyr when Stephen was teaching them on these things the Bible says they were caught to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth 55 we're reading to 59 but he being what so we see the holy ghost in stephen full of the holy ghost one of the personality of the trinity he said he looked up to heaven and what did he see the glory of god the similitude of the face of god another personality and what did he see again jesus standing at what so full of the holy ghost here on earth god in heaven and then the holy ghost at his right hand read on and he said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god you can even stop there the point has been established so you see that from scripture old testament the gospels and the epistles i reveal to you that there is such a concept i know why i am for some of you this looks basic but many people who represent different sects 
some not even believers are going to be listening to this message and it's important that we start from a theological foundation so that it does not look like this is a pentecostal or charismatic phenomenon the concept of the trinity is established by the word of god there is such a concept now let me tell you a few things and i am very emotional as i say this the subject of the person and the ministry of the holy spirit in my opinion is the most misunderstood and most neglected teaching in the body of christ the subject of the revelation of the personality of the holy spirit i don't think that there is scarceness with the teaching of jesus as the son of god i don't think there is scarceness of the revelation of the father especially new testament believers we talk a lot about the fatherhood of god but the person and the ministry of the holy spirit most believers have almost no idea about the person of the holy spirit now the church especially the 21st century church is not in ignorance as to the reality of the power of the holy spirit we watch televisions every day and we see people falling from church to church you come for koinonia and you see people shouting and flying all around but the person this entity this personality called the holy spirit is what i want to introduce to us tonight Who is the Holy Spirit? Who exactly is the Holy Spirit? We must know who he is. Why is he so important that Jesus had to need him? Jesus walked upon the earth, never was able to do any serious kingdom thing until he came. Who is this personality so important that the saints of old, although they did not really know him, but they could not resist his influence in their lives when he came upon them they could not articulate they never had a relationship with the holy spirit they could not know who he was they only related to him based on his influence upon them there were only two people in the old testament who communicated such an appreciable dimension of intimacy with him number one was samuel the prophet number two was david the man after god's heart these two personalities seem to have accessed deeper dimensions of their work with the holy spirit a prophet that the bible says his word did not fall to the ground it was the psalmist that said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your spirit from me who is the holy spirit now let me tell you something the holy spirit is not a bird the holy spirit is not a dove you have to believe this the holy spirit is not candles with fire on it the holy spirit is not anointing oil the holy spirit is not water the holy spirit is not wind the holy spirit is not sound all those things are similitudes of his operation similitudes of his operation but not him the holy spirit is not an influence he's bigger than an influence who is the holy spirit number one the holy spirit is god the holy spirit is god he is not like god he is not a friend of god he is not a mentee of god the holy spirit is god every description that you give the father every description in terms of honor and acknowledgement and power and might it suffices to communicate the same description to the holy spirit now the difference of the trinity is not the power and the might but the system of their functions and their offices it is based on that that we now classify the father as number one the son jesus as number two are we together and the holy spirit as number three the holy spirit is not junior god the holy spirit is not the inferior part of god he is god in every way in every system deserving of worship deserving of honor deserving of trust so the holy spirit is god 
Number two, the Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. Benihin calls him Jesus unlimited. The Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. When Jesus walked upon the earth, he was bound with a body. Listen, give us quickly please, John, John chapter... John chapter 14, verse 16 to 18. John chapter 14, verse 16 to 18. The Holy Spirit, a manifestation of the limitless presence of Jesus. So it is, it is fair and scriptural to say the Holy Spirit is Jesus unlimited, without bounds. When Jesus walked upon the earth, he could not be everywhere at the same time. It is the Holy Spirit that makes it possible for every believer to receive Christ. He is the representation of the presence of Jesus on earth and in the heart and life of every believer. And I will pray the Father, this is Jesus speaking, and he will give you another comforter. You've heard the word, the Greek rendition is alos parakletos. Alos and heteros, these are words that mean one of the same kind or one of another kind. When you say alos, it means the same in quality and species, like the cat family. Are we together? The bird family. When you say heteros, it can mean many birds, but not of the same, maybe a dove and an eagle. They are not the same. So we have alos and we have heteros. Here it is alos paracletos another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse next verse verse 17 even the spirit of truth whom the world listen jesus is saying the world cannot receive him why he says because it seeth him not so the first reason why the carnal man cannot walk with the holy spirit is why because he seeth him not now, Facebook and the social media has taught us that there is a possibility to relate with a personality you have never seen. Before Facebook came, they taught us something, I think in secondary school or primary, I don't know which one, pen pal. Something that you write letter and post to another stranger who replies you. But now with Facebook, you can communicate with a personality you do not even know. And from his expression, you can even know he is not happy. Yet you have never met him. The person is in Brazil. You are in Nigeria. And you are communicating. Praying together. Growing together. And you can even say, how are you my good friend? The world does not see him. Neither knoweth him. An encounter, not awareness. The world cannot have an encounter with him. Because he is not the way you encounter physical men. This is a spiritual encounter. The two reasons... Why people cannot experience the person of the Holy Spirit. Don't forget this. Number one, because they cannot see him. Except it is given to you by the grace of God. You cannot see the person of the Holy Spirit with your optical eyes. You can see the expressions of him. You can feel the power of his presence. You can see the influence. The wind is in the similitude of the Holy Spirit. You may not see the wind, but you can see the paper it carries. You can see the clothes, it dries. That's how the Holy Spirit is. So you cannot, you believe there is wind because you see it drying your clothes, picking papers. And occasionally dust can form a tornado. And this is the effect of the wind. But the wind is not a tornado. The Holy Spirit represents the unlimited presence of Jesus in the earth. Number three, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God the Holy Spirit is not wise the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God look at me of the Trinity the Holy Spirit represents the wisdom of God you have to understand this the wisdom of God that's why Jesus had to wait for him to come so that he will walk in wisdom. The Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God. Number what? 
Number four, the Holy Spirit is the revealer of the presence and the power of God. Not just the conveyor, but the revealer. Only the Holy Spirit can make the presence of God and the power of God real to men. Listen, without the Holy Spirit, no matter what miracle you see, it cannot change you. I hope you know in the Old Testament they saw miracles, yet they were not converted. In the New Testament, they saw 5,000 people fed by five loaves and two fish, correct? They saw the water turn into wine. They saw Jesus walking, yet they still doubted him. John the Baptist himself, who commissioned Jesus in ministry, doubted whether or not he was the Messiah. Jesus resurrected and when he resurrected the bible says he went to his disciples he said but some doubted why because they had not received the holy spirit only the holy spirit can reveal the presence and the power of god to men see let me tell you something that's why there are people who can carry anointing they can sit in a meeting you can be dispensing the gifts of the spirit accurate prophecy you can see someone fall under the anointing and roll and get up and at the end of that meeting someone can be nodding and say bros are you there now i see we didn't attend the meeting powerful meeting with signs and wonders but without the presence of the holy spirit there is no conviction there is no change there is no transformation jesus sent the 70 are we together now jesus sent the 70 thomas was part of the 12 and the 70 Thomas used the name of Jesus, casted devils. But when Jesus resurrected, he said, no way. Until he comes and I put my hand in his hand. And then Jesus came, he said, Thomas, do it. He said, blessed is he that has not seen. Blessed is he that has not seen, but believe. The conveyor, the revealer of the presence of God. Who is the Holy Spirit? Let me give you a shocking definition number five. The Holy Spirit is the author of scripture. The Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. The same way Benihin is the author of Good Morning Holy Spirit. The same way Bishop Oyedeko is the author of Covenant Wealth or a Covenant of Prosperity. The Holy Spirit, this book belongs to him. It was not authored by Zondervan. It was not authored by um, um, White Taker House. This Bible, Scripture, was authored by the Holy Spirit. You are a hypocrite if you try to read his book and ignore him. The author of the Bible is the Holy Ghost. Two Scriptures. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21 and then 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21. For the prophecy, listen, came not in old time by the will of man. Luke did not write the Bible because he was intelligent. Listen, John did not write the Bible just because he leaned on the chest of Jesus. Isaiah did not write the Bible just because he had to write. He said the will of man was too small to have written this Bible. Look up. There is no man that wrote the Bible just by their will. No. It takes more than willingness to write this. There must be a personality and an influence. A compelling force. 90% of the people who were used by the Spirit to write the Bible were not educated. They were illiterate. So how was the details of the character of God so captured with minimal error in spite of their personalities? Some of them never met themselves, but see the synergy and the consistency of their communication. No prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were what? Influenced. The same word, the Holy Ghost drove Jesus to the wilderness so men wrote they speak and later documented it as moved by the holy ghost 
listen to me carefully i i may want to write one book now maybe translate some of my messages into books and i can tell the media department or we get a professional editor and say take one two three messages i need the transcripts of all of them and i sit down and edit it does it mean that is that person that wrote the book please respect him he is the author of this book men of god hold this book and they never know the author they preach it they write other books with reference to this and never give honor to the author they give honor to their wives thank you for motivating me on the computer while i type they give honor to their children thank you son for not being stubborn while i wrote the book and they ignore the owner listen there is something called plagiarism plagiarism is an offense correct when you take somebody's thoughts without due permission and without making reference how many people have plagiarized the spirit of god we use his words every time and every day and nobody has been arrested and we never give him credit if david Dam catches somebody recording his song and making money from it they will first share it into half and then take him to court and say no way it came from god but through me you are not going to just read from are you getting if somebody carries the koinonia worship team song and just runs with it like that they'll sue the person to court yet 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 we take everything that is of the holy spirit he gave us unrestrained access to use it as though we wrote the book look at how i quote scriptures as if i was there i can quote it then i will be stupid to not acknowledge him the holy spirit is the author of the bible second timothy 3 16. second timothy 3 16. i want you to read one to read all scripture is given by what is the word breath is the word numa the greek is rock an expression a manifestation of this of the holy spirit all scripture how many all scripture all scripture not some not a major part all scripture is given by the inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine reproof correction instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be perfect and all of that so the holy spirit is the author of the word write this down christianity is not a religion christianity is not one of the four thousand religions on earth that's quite an information you want to know i don't know what's the current maybe somebody has invented something from january till now now that recession is on somebody must have come up with something but the last time i checked there were at least four thousand religions on earth isn't it amazing four thousand plus with followers all with followers you can go and register it officially your religion state your tenets of faith prove that it works they give you a patent to to smuggle people from whatever religion into yours christianity is not a religion it has never been and will never be religion is man's attempt to manage his confusion about god religion is man's attempt to find god without the agency of the holy spirit religion is man's attempt to create an explanation of the realm of the spirit and the dealings of god without the assistance religion is the product of man's pride religion is a direct product of man's pride his refusal to accept that there is god but accepts that the realm of the spirit is real so people argue oh the sun is there the planets are moving around it and there are millions of galaxies and all of that and all of that and this one if the sun is too if the earth is too close to the sun if it's too far and then out of all of that the scientists who have succeeded in doing that tells you there is no god and the bible gives that person a name 
is called a fool he said only a fool will say in his heart but these ones did not even say it in their heart they've written it in letters they have blogs for it only a fool will say in his heart there is no god look at me if all of a sudden you enter this place and you see this fan and this keyboard and this mic and i told you that some metals were just moving around and then a wind blew them and there was some electromagnetic force and it just came together and formed a mic and reduced down to tosin's height and then another one became a pulpit how intelligent do i sound so to tell me that some cosmic bodies flew from mars another planet had a big bang boom then the water molecules suddenly had uh, what they call that thing frogs that thing that toads carry like fins and then started growing out leg and then became one ugly thing and then eventually grew and then became something else and then became black and ugly monkeys and then from there my great grandfather was coming out I, and then look at how dull those things are but we believe them Oh, 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 Christianity is an experience. Christianity is a revelation it's not a religion what we call Christianity the faith life the work of a believer what was committed to us by Jesus is a revelation it's an experience it's an experience it was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church the Holy Spirit birthed the church. Not only did the Holy Spirit father Jesus, the Holy Spirit birthed the church. Jesus was not ashamed to call the Holy Spirit his father. He said, my father in me. There is my father who is in heaven, but there is my father who is in me. Abba, my source, my sustainer. So it was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church. Listen, we talk a lot about Christianity. Many zealous people have died in villages. Many people have been martyred, but we have ignored the Spirit of God. Why we have ignored Him is a mystery. He started the church. He started the church. And today we drive Him out of our churches. We drive him out of our cathedrals. We call him a nuisance. We say he is too noisy. We have sent him out of our families. We have sent him out of our businesses. We have sent him out of our lives. We have sent him out of our ministries. We have sent him out of our homes. We sent him out of our children. We sent him out of civilization. We sent him out of government. We sent him out of our finances. The Spirit of God. Second Corinthians 13 verse 14. My assignment tonight is to bring him to your consciousness. That he is a person. Write this down. The Holy Spirit has a definite form. He is not an amoeba. He is not like a boneless creature. No. The Holy Spirit has an exact distinct form. The reason why he does not reveal his form ordinarily to people is because he wants Jesus to be glorified, not because he does not have a form. Are we, are we together now? You have to get this. When you are in the realm of the spirit, you can see the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, it's very difficult for you to understand this because, Pastor Femi, come. If this is Joshua Selman. I, you cannot believe that I am in Pastor Femi's house or I am in his heart. That possibility cannot be understood in a three-dimensional realm. 
the concept of omnipresence is not a reality that our civilization is used to there is no that that ability to be omnipresent is not there that's why the internet was allowed by god to show us that omnipresence is a possibility i can be in my room right now scattered across over 45 nations of the world there are different people connecting right now and they are hearing at the same time some with phones some with laptops some seated right now as soon as this series is over we will upload it and in minutes literally minutes people all over the world are downloading it omnipresence is a reality the internet has shown us that it is possible there is a station where facebook is zuckerberg is a person but he has multiplied himself through a mystery are we together so they say are you on facebook it's the same way saying have you given your life to christ but there is a personality called zuckerberg there is facebook office but there is facebook in your house there is facebook in your phone and whoever does not have facebook is not part of zuckerberg are you seeing that now so how will you say it is not possible for the holy spirit to be living in you and to work with you you can have facebook in your phone but you can meet with the person zuckerberg and be in the real facebook office there is a real form there is an office today you can snap called facebook but there is a similitude of it zuckerberg is in everybody's phone whenever you say zuckerberg the phone facebook is the representation of the presence of zuckerberg so when you gave your life to christ yes you were born again but jesus is in your heart it is true but in your heart in the person of the holy spirit the person jesus is in heaven seated today with a solid body he will return with it so when you say i belong to jesus it is true but the seal is the holy spirit he's the one who validates that your claims are true more on that next week when I'm, I'm teaching you on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. What do I want to get today to teach you? 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14. I want us to dwell in the understanding of the person. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Of the Holy Spirit. Let me talk about these three things. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says and the love of God he says and the communion koinonia fellowship intercourse sharing together participation of the Holy Spirit he said these three things should be with you number one the love of God the love of God is an expression of the benevolent nature of God It's an expression of his generosity his, his fortitude to express his nature in and to and through men the love of God Paul is saying if you want to walk and do business in this kingdom the love of God must be at work in you the love of God is revealed in the person of Jesus Christ and also revealed in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus Jesus did not come to the earth just as a suggestion of himself he came in response to the father's love he came to prove the love of the father that's the first thing paul says we should know the love of god i'm not dwelling so much there the second thing he says we should know is the grace of our lord jesus christ what is the grace of our lord jesus christ it's not just unmerited access we're not doing a whole teaching on grace but grace is not look, look at me grace is not unmerited access alone that is just a dimension of grace grace is a generic terminology that is used to express any and everything that comes from god any and everything that comes from god is called grace are you seeing now it's not just salvation anointing is grace wisdom is grace my definition of grace is given in the bible every good and perfect gift that comes from above is called grace it's not just unmerited access unmerited access is a dimension of the operation of grace 
if all you know about grace is just unmerited access no the power to perform is grace because it is not your own you are giving it the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ then he says the communion please give us amplified let me dwell here and then we'll pray the communion I'll be teaching you the next time we meet on the ministry of the Holy Spirit but the starting point of the journey of your walk with God the first thing he wants to achieve in your life when the Holy Spirit comes to you is fellowship partnership is a product of fellowship 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 there are so many people who want partnership but they do not want fellowship partnership means to work with him that's that's the section four or so of our course content the ministry of the spirit that's where i will teach you signs and wonders miracles raising the dead healing the sick increase multiplication signs and wonders that's the ministry of the spirit that is partnership with him but the starting point of a believer unfortunately most of our prayers are largely prayers directed towards our needs towards warfare which is important but very little of it is a system built for fellowship fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost the personality of the Holy Ghost not just his ministry not just his power the Holy Spirit is a real person real person real person he walks with you he lives in you he represents the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life the presence of God in your life but he walks with you when the Holy Spirit comes into your life come darling when the Holy Spirit comes into your life listen the first thing he wants to achieve is not to use you for signs and wonders that's what you want so you want a sharp sharp impartation let me just fall down roll around roll around stand up and all of a sudden I look around and I say look better invite me because I have power many people know his power but they do not know his person are we together imagine a woman who has been eating her husband's money and never knows him what is his name I don't know what is his best meal I don't know what are his best colors I don't know where is he now I meet I don't know he just left home and uh, whenever he comes he knows ah, but you are rich it's his money you have his wife you must be an irresponsible wife correct yeah. the Holy Spirit there are so many things we don't know about him and we don't care the average pastor talks about him but does not know him our lives are very it's a demonstration that we are very ignorant of him we do not see the ultimate ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life listen is not to speak to you is that you and him will be so intertwined that you become an expression of his reality the same way he's an expression of the reality of heaven he is the one who makes thy kingdom come possible in your life so when people see you you are so bound to him you look like him you talk like him you walk like him your life is an effulgence of his presence i introduce to you tonight the person of the holy spirit he does not belong to pentecostals listen carefully he does not belong to people in lagos he does not belong to western elites he does not belong to those who can speak English and can read King James. How many people go to the villages and do evangelism and dare talk to them about the Holy Spirit? When you come and people are well dressed in suits like me, say now these guys are candidates for the Holy Spirit. But you see one mama in the village who cannot speak English, say, don't mind these people. You see that? Many of us are here seated right now. Nobody ever introduced him to you. They told you about Jesus you cried and every time you pray Jesus can you hear me and he looks in heaven and says I love you and I can hear you but you are not sincere I sent somebody to you you ignored the person I sent and you claim to love me no no 
we have ignored him and he has watched us like a gentleman in our pride and confusion we have done everything we have done we have been taught that the moment you receive him you must be a Jujim Christian a fiery brother or a lady that is going to marry a man of God and you say me I, I, God has never spoken to me about ministry I'm a quiet businesswoman Holy Spirit you can just go and remain in Koinonia your team and they really need you there you see that attitude how many worshipers sing about him they write songs about him we twist our tongues on stage about him <laughs> God God this and that we don't know him we don't know him it's one thing listen it's one thing for God to be with you but it's another thing to be with God God can be with you as a person but that you be with him that means you have released your will to say yes Lord the Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself the church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not know him I'm calling us way beyond the realm of power this is way beyond the realm of miracles let me tell you something pastors leaders much more than miracles let the miracles be a derivative of his presence if they have they can happen in the absence of his presence because you can have the anointing the same way you can use my ATM and withdraw money the ATM will not refuse because my identity is on it the disciples did not know the Holy Spirit yet they went and they were raising wheelchairs casting out devils let me tell you that you cast out demons please listen carefully that you cast out demons and heal the sick is not a sign that you know him no 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 for even the demons believe in God they tremble so many people in the body of Christ the moment you see a man of God walking miracles and I'm not against it moving you know somebody rising from the wheelchair you just assume that Kai, this guy knows the Holy Spirit no many people know him as an influence they know his power they know what his power can do but they don't know him because when you know him he alters you in a very remarkable way the proof that you know the Holy Spirit is that you submit your will for his characteristics to begin to find expression in and through you. You see that? Yeah. When a demon, you've seen people now, you've seen people manifest time and again under the influence of spirit here and in different meetings. Notice, you can, for instance, you can see this lovely lady right now and assuming there is a spirit attempting to influence her, the moment you attempt to cast out that devil, she can start crawling on her knees. This is not something that she should do as a human being, but the spirit is trying to execute his characteristics. So when the passive of the Holy Spirit is at work in your life, your life becomes an effulgence of his characteristics. You don't just say, um we are angry people in our family that's how we are i'm anointed but we're angry if he lands on me i give it to you even god you know beat me i beat you god no go those those stupid statements that people make they don't know him i have seen many anointed people who do not know him personally i sincerely consider myself not even to know him i know that many people say ah koinonia the whole name the ministry of the holy spirit my prayer every time is holy spirit reveal yourself to me while i was preparing for this series i was almost ashamed of myself i said truly 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 what am i now going to say about him that's why many people describe him because knowing him is not something it's like trying to teach you about your wife Jimmy. it's difficult i can only describe her she makes cake because i have a product in my house but is she cake she has lovely sisters and brothers wonderful we can only use descriptions but do you know the best way to let men know him become an expression of him an expression of him when your life vetoes culture all those listen carefully all those embargoes that make you look like a Yoruba man 
all those embargoes that make you look like a kogi man all those irresponsibilities that make you look like a plateau man a kaduna man when they are swallowed up by that relationship they know that somebody else has oriented your life are you getting what i'm saying now very important you can be born again casting out devils but everybody looks at you they can trace you so naturally they say ah this guy's jealousy is from this state they are like that they are oh no forget that he's anointed they are like that but when they can hardly describe your earthly identity you have switched to a true relationship with a personality that you are so intertwined with him that people can look at you and guess and say where are you i don't know whether you are from rivers or you are from plateau state or delta and you tell them i'm from zion the zion of god truly speaking the same way when you see a jam bite in a university even if he's 40 years you will know he's a new student he's an adult outside but when he enters that institution he will try to be matured but you look at him you know that no this guy is not used to this are we together the lingua franca the way of talking the way people are doing there is a popular pothole that everybody in that knows if you, you can with your eyes closed you can jump in then he falls into it that's a jam bite he's not drunk he's just new these are realities with the holy spirit when i look at your life and the characteristics of the spirit are not manifesting there i know something is wrong anger bitterness we think these things don't matter the person of the holy spirit was designed to remedy this lapse so on a good day based on my culture based on my village based on where i come from i cannot stand and look at it she should kneel down and lie down self because i mean i'm a man i'm a king he comes into your life and introduces who god is to you he shows you who god is and says in the kingdom that you so love and respect jesus that you so admire this is not how he is and he not tell he doesn't tell you what to do he influences you to become it the power to become not the information alone to become the power to become can anything good come out of nazareth you are talking to a man who has met the holy spirit without him nothing good can come out of nazareth but with him with him with him with him the person of the holy spirit is the mystery the mystery that turned his tamara like benihim to become a world-renowned figure there are many people i have gone for meetings and i've seen signs and wonders but never felt his presence he was almost absent in that meeting signs and wonders can be happening but he's not producing conviction people are just clapping but nobody is living with any sense of conviction because he's not there when you enter Benny his meeting whether you are dead or alive you know that the spirit of god is there signs and wonders are just a confirmation but you know let me tell you how you know a man of the secret place it's not miracles presence 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 not just when you are playing keyboard presence there is a presence if this lady sprays perfume very nice quality perfume and i hold her like this after a while is it true that i should begin to smell that perfume when you walk in a restaurant at the back of the restaurant where they cook and the firewood is there and you claim you were there for two hours cooking rice and you leave you should not smell fresh that place should implicate you no matter how neat you are I should see palm oil somewhere in your cloth or sweat you should smell like that rice or smell like smoke or smell like the kitchen you can't come out and you are still looking like this and say i was cooking rice not gas stove no it's a sign you were not there how many people claim they know him and they think because somebody flew under the anointing is just a sign no sir no sir listen I tell you the secret of koinonia it's not just miracles there are ministries that work in 
10 times more miracles 10 times the miracle that this ministry has worked in put together if Benny Hinn should show up here they will all happen in one night but brothers and sisters the difference that presence that's what creates conviction so you can listen to a message you already know everything about it yet it will pound you and change you and you find yourself on your knees that's something that even when your parents say you should do it you didn't do it presence you know him when you can prove that you carry his presence you know him when you can prove the reality the reality you know a lot of people see me and they say apostle joshua selman has a call you know revival helping people experience god it's not really a call that's not yes i have a dimension of a call to reveal the person of the holy spirit but it's even if i'm talking about finances or i'm talking about whatever that presence that presence that presence just like some of you are listening to me now there's someone seated outside the wind may not be as favorable as you want yet something is happening to him that's what can make somebody who is a non-christian sit down outside and you are talking about what is not directly salvation but a presence lands on his head you see him shaking and just sitting it's not every shaking that is just anointing that carried people it's the effect of his presence his presence his presence i'd like you to close your eyes and pray one minute and say lord not just your power a revelation of your presence pray pray the presence in my life not just power for miracles you are in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god he says listen and the koinonia the fellowship that the holy spirit is not an archangel please the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not the firstborn of the angels no he is called the angel of the lord's presence but the word angel there means the messenger of the lord's presence the conveyor not the slave of god no 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 the holy spirit we have ignored him so much spirit breaker break our walls down walls of unbelief and doubt and fear break our walls down spirit break out heaven come down you were brooding over every dark you are causing light to shine from darkness he's brooding over every darkness he is causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness that's what he's doing in your life he is brooding over every darkness my god is causing light you are brooding Are causing lights to shine 
song. Prophesy it one more time. Lord, you are king over every time. You are causing light. Light. Listen. The Holy Spirit is the one who taught me the word. I remember, let me tell you, next the next time we meet, I will share with you a lot of stories about my work with the Holy Spirit. How the Holy Ghost started with me. The Spirit of God is not power. Many people want power. They want somebody to rise from wheelchair because you think that's what will bring members. Have you not seen signs and wonders produce us? No! His presence. His presence is a product of a real relationship. Do you know him? Do you know him? Do you talk to him? Do you respect him? Is your life an effulgence of his characteristics? Show me how he, dis he took that anger out of your life. Show me how he's taken your tribe and culture out of your life. You are proof. Every dark, you are causing light to shine. You are brooding. Every dark, you are causing light to shine. One more time. You are brooding. You are. Brooding. Listen, I've shared a bit of my experiences with you people when I would be in the room lying down and I would see a mist like fog what you call fog a mist the shape of a man standing there a real mist next the next time we meet I'll share with you all these encounters a real mist and brothers and sisters I will be frozen not just under his power his influence every part of me is shaking like a leaf for hours I don't know what it, it's like things are entering me and leaving me I cannot even explain is it that he's speaking to me is it impartation is it deliverance I don't even know all I know is that like a hand upon me and I tell you I remain like that for hours sometimes I will not even say one word one word it's not all this fake trying to pray and check time and say it's two hours let me steal so that no 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 his presence defines your longevity his presence defines how you pray his presence defines what happens you don't tell him nah -uh. his presence till today that is a practice i will never trade for anything no matter who i become or what i become Listen, let me tell you something. The moment, the moment you say, Oh God, give me tea. I bind every devil. You're not going to experience his presence. But calm down and set the atmosphere. Spirit of the living God, you are welcome here. I give you my life. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. This is you praying now. Not give me tea and bread. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Affect my life, breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. You are the Holy Ghost. Let me show you what I do in my secret place. Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Hey. The Holy Ghost, take your place. Hey. Take your place.
Take your place. Listen. Prayer. Hear me. Prayer was primarily designed as a spiritual system to know him, to meet with him. Prayer was designed primarily as the system that conveys his presence to you. There is the warfare dimension of prayer. There is intercession. There is supplication. There is the prayer. But he said, when you pray, pray in this manner. Abba Father, listen, who art in heaven, not give me tea, give me bread. I must marry. I need a child. He said, your kingdom, your influence, your person come. Let me tell you why many people's prayer lives are dead. It's not because they cannot pray in tongues. I know many people's prayer life. My prayer life is one of the richest points of my Christian life. My, my prayer, I pray that one day during a vigil here, after we do anything, we, we will pray. I want to show you what I do in the secret place. My prayer life is not a boring time. You know why? Because I don't carry all these things that people, I don't enter his presence just disturbing him and talking stupid things. Let me tell you, there is a strategy that the devil uses for your prayer life. The moment you want to pray, he tries to make you weak. You will even think you don't have the strength for five minutes time of prayer. And then this is what many of us do. You just stand up. Oh God, I've been telling you about this thing. Oh God, my jam is coming tomorrow. No, you don't need his presence. You need power for that one. When you want his presence, be ready to give him time. This hurry, hurry thing that people do, you will not find him that way. No. Presence. I let worship begin to set the atmosphere. I have made, I have made an altar. You see that? An altar. I have found the night time to be my best time of not just intercession and warfare alone, but deep intimacy because in the daytime your phone is ringing somebody is disturbing you see don't ever give an excuse for why you don't seek him i'm married i have 10 children i i am i am um, an accountant we finish in the bank late you always have time for what you love hallelujah I'm yet to see what can distract me when I'm having deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit my phone can ring to hell anything can happen you must you you use desire and respect to keep his presence not just faith desire and respect come and you are praying the Holy Spirit your your boyfriend hey, Holy, um, Holy Spirit how are you um, uh, my boyfriend how am I Holy Spirit how are you uh, no, 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 you are not serious. And it's not just moving. Ba, 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 ba. And you are running. Ba, 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 ba. That's warfare, not fellowship. When you are ready for fellowship, you let him define the modus operandi of the prayer session. He is Lord over the prayer session. There are times I go to pray, and as soon as I get there, immediately. Do you know sometimes, let me tell you what happens. Sometimes I can be studying my Bible or even just relaxing. I know when his presence shows up now his manifested presence the moment i begin to sense his presence around i try to discern is this just wanting me to pray or something immediately i go and lock my door the holy spirit loves privacy he's a very private person forget that you see his power like this the holy spirit there are things he will never do and show you in public no sir Thank God for corporate gathering. But the specifics of his dealings with you must be in the secret place. Sleep? Me? No. no. That's why many people's prayer lives are not rich. Let me tell you, when he comes, the first thing that happens is his that man to learn it learn it the presence of the holy spirit should affect your spirit soul and body 
when he comes it's not just by faith you know he's there his influence envelopes you this is how people become strong presence carriers not just power carriers presence Benny Hinn was describing one time you know he's my mentor in that area and Benny Hinn was describing how he was preparing for meetings do you know he said when he's preparing for meetings it is directly from the secret place he would just bath ask anybody who knows me I know many times we are coming directly from a trip but koinonia here especially miracle service it is from prayer and fellowship straight you see me stand up and come here not just no no matter how many minutes stand up from watching football and just say I mind you let me just wear my tie quickly who are you playing games with you want to come and cast out devils you want to come and change somebody who they use a spell to keep him a non-christian for 30 years who do you think you are that you want to speak in two hours i remember i was teaching one time on um revelation of heaven and hell he was outside one um, at is it an imam or ustas one gentleman he studied arabic he was seated outside while the teaching was going on i mean the presence of god was pounding on that gentleman and the next thing all of a sudden outside here the overflow the heavens were open for him and he had a vision of jesus way before an altar call he, i don't know where that guy is now but that kind of born again there's no going back encounters are not products of power encounters are products of a person invited into your life and the effect of his presence this encounter thing that you see people talk about me different ministries they write all kinds of the supernatural when they say the supernatural let me tell you what they mean a man of god who comes and somebody falls down falls down a few healings here and they say man it was a powerful meeting let me tell you an encounter is an experience that makes a person and a thing real to you it doesn't have to be visionary but it must be supernatural are we together imagine if all of us here inside and outside imagine all the people here that we become true presence carriers do you know do you know the dimension of the kingdom you will produce in the life of people dimension all these many discussion and counselings you just come and stand near somebody and a presence there is an invisible personality with you I tell you, I give you two or three minutes. You see that person shaking. The person is not shaking just because there are not. Ah, help, 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 I'm sorry. The person is not shaking just because there is an anointing. The person is shaking simply because you think it's power. That's what people say. That this is not power. This is presence. You go into a business meeting. You carry that cloud. You go to your home where there is a shrine. That they smuggled somewhere you don't need to know whether they planted it in a football field under whatever just carry that presence like the ark of god in the house of obededom and you watch what begins to happen one of our ladies here was telling me i think she went home and she said she just played one koinonia message and when she played she said it was like human beings were running physically out of the house Balaam cursed them and he turned and saw no 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 the shout of a king his voice his presence is in their midst let me tell you what I will explain to you next week but the key to walking in strange levels of health and freshness physical biological freshness is not just rubbing goat milk cream and all of this let me tell you the presence of god can revitalize revitalize are you a christian revitalize all this issue of somebody 20 years you are looking like 30 sluggish you are uh, this and that mm -mm. let his presence roast away all that chaff out of you in all sincerity and in all truth I truly consider myself to be stronger and better and happier than ever. His presence. How you know he's with you 
is joy unspeakable full of glory it's called the joy of the holy ghost ah in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time i hear there's a joy in my soul in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time the world is full of sad people angry and sad people you know why my wife offended me my husband offended me they didn't pay salary this person did this the government is wicked Buari is not a nice man this one did this um osimba joy is not doing well this one is doing this let me tell you joy is not a commodity that you can get on earth joy is one of the blessings of his presence joy joy is not just laughing like a fool the ability to sustain and you ignore the storms that your you can see people in see let me tell you in the olden days when they were going to kill missionaries before they would bomb they would blow them they fed them to lions lions and peronero will sit on his throne in a theater and they will bring out one of the saints do you know how the guy saw they took human beings and tied them and then they lit them to be the torchlight that you used to see human beings roasting to give light and many of them before they died they sang amazing grace they said no 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 when you laugh in the midst of the storm it's not natural the holy ghost is a sign that you are aware they were about to stone stephen all this frowning around thinking you are the first the devil will cheat you you must learn a system of joy i know there's no money in your pocket but don't allow the first sign of depression is that it has a way of taking away joy when men are about to die the first thing is they stop talking ask the doctors they are angry they have entered into a state of acute depression but he said the joy of the lord is my strength strength you see why many people are weak you will never come and meet me like this ah, life joy joy unspeakable you can't fake that one his presence gives me joy all the time all the time it doesn't mean everything just happens the way i want no there are all, there are too many people to annoy you every 24 hours that's what satan wants as you are sharing the grace somebody matches your your leg by mistake and you say about i say what um, what ah uh, allow me to tell you sorry i was about to say it and it spoils your mind i said this coin on it's just because we are serving god otherwise your joy is gone is your joy so small rich in joy he said for with joy shall you draw it's one of the reasons why many people don't get miracles haven't believed they don't have joy the joy of the lord that is your strength they don't have it see let me tell you something some of you came to koinonia sad angry depressed as if the whole world is on you when there is nothing else you have keep your joy in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy that i now have it truly comes alive every time i hear your voice there are times that we go for meetings and the hospitality is not at its best sometimes it can be so annoying because we've traveled so far and you see the people wasting time maybe keeping us so long in the airport to pick us those things can bring anger and all of a sudden i remember the joy of the lord the joy of the lord if you remember your bank account to be happy you will soon die if you remember the presence of your child if you remember that oh i have my certificate under under one newspaper that i wrapped if that is why you are happy this world does not have room for that to give you joy do you know many people try other things trying to get joy 
they try education they try marriage they try money this money thing you see they try everything they try bullying others they try politics no the true source of joy joy unspeakable is the holy spirit look at what happened to job a man boils lost his entire estate dogs were licking him he was seated in the ashes the wife had looked at him and he said though he slay me yet will i trust him my joy uh -uh. satan has not cheated you if he does not succeed in making you ignore the ministry of the holy spirit i don't care what else leaves you if the holy spirit is in your life covet that fellowship 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 listen tonight is a night of restoration because some of us you were not like this listen carefully that's not how you started with god there are people here scattered across the day you became a pastor the day you became a man of god you became a reverend the day you married a pastor the day they gave you a position of a president that's the day fellowship died no need for fellowship again i'm busy busy for what busy for what i, I now have a job you know before i i wasn't working but now my job requires that i'm in brazil today portaco tomorrow i barely have time hey spirit cultivate fellowship with him your life would have been 10 times better than it is if you did not ignore him now you may say he's in me but you ignored his person i can have a visitor in my house and leave him in the parlor in anger to prove to him that you are wasting my time and enter another parlor and be doing a business discussion is he in my house yes but are we in fellowship no don't say God is in my heart. Don't say the Holy Spirit is in my heart. Are you engaging him? I know you prayed. Oh, I prayed about it. What did he say? Me, I have shall pray. If you pray and did not have an instruction or a direction from the word, you have not prayed. The confusion in the life of many people today. Listen, there are many there are many things in people's life. There are people today who have traveled to geographic locations where they have no business being there. Somebody just got up and felt like God was sending him to um, Australia. The Holy Spirit was not consulted. You just felt it was just a, a rumbling in my stomach. And you got up and got visa and went and you are almost dying in Australia. There are people who they just sat down and they ignored him and started churches they had prayer meetings they had evangelical meetings and just assumed Kai I think we are large enough to start a church and they started it think how many things have gone wrong in our lives sincerely because we have ignored him think how many people right now are regretting their marriages because they ignored him my mother said I should just marry anything and I just marry. ignored him he told you have three children you had seven you are seeing what is causing you now he said we ignore him all around think of how he has cautioned people many times and we refused our stubbornness and stiff neckedness tonight is a night of genuine restoration there are many people you used to walk with him his presence the holy spirit would wake you wake you at specific times there are people who have that encounter where he would wake them but now you threw him out the holy spirit is like um in fact when you study certain hebrew studies he's like a woman that's where you get the word roak hakodesh you see that it's a feminine characteristic if he's not invited he does not come if you keep him in the parlor he remains there forever you tell him holy spirit enter my house but parlor bedroom and the first toilet that's that's where you should don't ever enter my kitchen you will keep eating nonsense and have a beautiful parlor because the area you allow his influence is the area you see the glory of god don't say he's in me did you invite him to your finances his presence not his principles we try to learn bible 
we go to theology schools we go to bible schools and we never consult the author i told you he's the author of scripture he worked with people in the old testament are you not seeing how he turned a little boy called samuel to a wonder he called somebody looking like me samson and made him a judge over israel look at the people he transformed he turned deborah mary said how shall these things be he said don't worry the father of this child will be the holy ghost the power of the highest the holy spirit the manifestation of the possibilities of god listen let me tell you everything today that is happening that is good i learned something from bishop Oyedepo. he said everything that is good credit it to god everything that is bad credit it to my not hearing him i adopt that principle if there is anything that is good in koinonia the wisdom from the system of the messages if there is anything that is bad in koinonia i take responsibility it is a revelation of the area where i've not yielded to him so is your life so is your life you gave him access to your academics look what his presence is doing you literally sit down in an exam for 20 minutes you don't have an idea all of a sudden something comes in your life and you begin to write even things you know that you did not read you gave him permission there but you rejected him in your finances and you say look you know this economics we have to do it with intelligence and oh how gentle he is he will truly step back truly step back the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your holy spirit from me it's not enough to have him have you allowed his person to influence your life that's what we're talking about look at many of our parents he's not an influencer of their decisions they have used experience and look at the things that are happening in their lives because they have ignored him you are too young to master life your age is too small to navigate the vicissitudes of life the oldest person on earth is not up to 150 years trust the ancient spirit is the holy ghost spirit of the living god is the holy ghost scepter of the kingdom of kings is the holy ghost seal of the age to come is changing I woke up this morning and I got a very sad text from a man of God. I remember talking to the man. He said he wanted to start ministry somewhere. And I told him, I, I said, I think you need to relax. I look at you and I do not see, based on the description of the kind of ministry, I don't think I've seen intimacy in the Holy Spirit. And he ignored me. He just forgot everything. And he went to go and start the ministry. And he sent me a text this morning. He said, I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do he said for the first time in his life early this morning he was contemplating suicide i can tell you not with the holy ghost impossible suicide where from the voice that can show you a way where there is no way the holy spirit when the nation of israel were trapped he said i will send my angel before you that was the angel of the Lord's presence to speak not just an angel like Michael no Mary how shall these things be seeing not that I know not a man he said the power of the highest please hear me the secret to you doing what has never been done in your family is not anger is him all of them embraced the spirit you you are not embracing anything you just say i'm born again i will be successful it's pride you are a joker nobody succeeds without the assistance of a spirit i will teach you partnership next week the ministry of the holy spirit I'll tell you his ministry to unbelievers his ministry to believers and his present day ministry to the church but tonight i want you to know that the holy spirit does not just want to be in you he wants to walk with you and the Lord walking with them 
and the Lord walking with koinonia and the spirit the author of the Bible opening it to Joshua Selma not that you go on YouTube and download a message and say ah this Greek word you write it coin them together and go and preach no the same way where you meet an author he autographs on the copy he gives you and you know that you met with the author to you I will run my beloved you've captured my heart listen come can you surrender your life to the Holy Spirit I'm not saying be born again that's not what I'm saying donate your life holy spirit i donate myself i'm tired of what i can be without you and my lifetime is too short to keep guessing and later find out i've wasted my life so i hand it over to you are we together to you i will run my beloved that songs of solomon like the prodigal son who the father saw him and he ran embraced him hugged him put back the robe of royalty the signet ring and said my son was lost but now i'm found many of you have left him you left his influence and you went to do your own thing I'm not just talking of it doesn't have to be bad but if it's not him you will still suffer how many hired servants do my father have they live in plenty and here I am a son of the kingdom feeding on pigs and my benevolent father is there but I must run to him before he comes I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven I am not worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants he said and when the father saw him afar off he ran one thing I know with the Holy Spirit all he needs is for you to take one step and say Holy Spirit I ignored you I have ignored you in my life the moment a guy came into my life he just took away my brain took away my sense took away you would you dance with me lover of my soul to the song of all the songs Sing it one more time. Would you dance with me, oh, love of my soul, hey, to the song of all. Listen, let me tell you how I prepare for miracle service. I lie down with my paper and my Bible. I don't just get up and say the sick are coming. Spirit of the living God, I am limited. Thousands of people are coming. Probably thousands and millions of others connecting around the world. I am too small to heal them. I am too small. And I mean his presence just mantling me. And I'm saying, Lord, right about now there are people. The venue is packed full. The troubles that people have is too much. I can't be the one to solve it. And then he tells me, don't worry. Partnership. Let me show you one scripture before we round up. Give me this scripture, please, quickly. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 3, verse 9. I hope I'm right. It just came to my spirit. Please, quickly. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. I never walk alone. I know he's with me for we are what laborers together with God we are laborers partners Shalakota Salabatea partners 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 
there is a role I have to play. There is a role he has to play. I'm a partner with him. I never walk alone. I would have died if I'm the one leading Koinonia alone. No, I'm too small. I don't have that wisdom and experience. My life is too small to be the way it is by my own strength. Young Gicho wrote a book, Holy Spirit, my senior, not my mate, Holy Spirit, my senior partner. In his church, he has a big chair like you find in the Anglican. That chair is for the Holy Ghost. He said, I cannot be sitting down in front and the Holy Spirit is nowhere. You may not put a physical chair, but open up your heart and say, this is for you forever. Forever. And then he will show you things. I told you he is the wisdom of God. He comes into your life and produces signs and wonders. I look at my life today and I'm humbled. I don't even know what to tell him. Holy Spirit, what you are seeing, if there is anything good that you see in my life, behind the scene, there is somebody living through me. If I stretch my hands, it's his hands. What you are hearing now, you are looking at a physical person. But if God were to open your eyes, I'm like a puppet. He's speaking through me. That's why the power that comes from him only flows through me to you. The devils know what they are seeing. The sicknesses know what they are seeing. The lady who had an issue here, when I was hearing those testimonies, you know they were all thanking me. Thank daddy. What I was doing in my heart is thank the real daddy. The father in me. The Lord of Koinonia. The true apostle of this ministry. Not Joshua Selman. I would be stupid to claim that I have the power to lead people. You made a way. You made a way Don't know how but you did it made a way. Don't know how but you did it That's my testimony For he's moved the mountains You cause walls to fall and with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing hey, that's impossible. Tonight I'm standing here, and it's only because you made a way. Made a way. Don't know how. may be going through things tonight that humanly speaking you don't know how it will be done that is not your business that trying to find out how it will be done is the secret to killing yourself leave that to your partner your senior partner he's the wisdom of God he's the author of scriptures he knows where he meets your answer is listen Stop weeping. Stop crying. Stop looking like life is all over your head. No. Say to the righteous. There is a reason why you say to them. He gave them the Holy Spirit. He said tarry in Jerusalem. Don't let pride make you go out and start preaching. Tarry until he comes. Hallelujah. Look what he has done with this ministry today. You see let me tell you something every time i hear the reports about what god is doing we travel around all the place all the time tomorrow we're in lagos and i see the mighty things that he does and i see people coming sometimes to enter the car people are all around trying to touch any part of my body crying man of god and i keep looking hi do i really truly in all honesty do I really have the power to solve their problems? No. Pride is what has killed many of us. We drove his presence through pride. Yes, I'm the one. Ah, that prophetic word came from me. That prayer came from me. That uh, fasting 
came from me that this my church i built it with my wisdom i studied xyz that business i i, I know these things let me tell you ask all those who know me i look like a bold person but my personal life i can be so shy especially when you start thanking me or i, I don't know where to put my face you know this time uh, we want to appreciate a very great man of God ah you have killed me I don't even know where I'm going to hide my face because I know you are lying you think you are telling the truth but it's a lie I know him prayer point number one Lord any part of my life that is yet to subscribe to your influence tonight I lay it down I lay it down oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 lay it down. Oh, 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 lay it down. Pray. Lay it down. Lay it down. Surrender everything. Don't say I'm not a pastor. This is not a pastor affair. Don't say I'm too old. I'm too young. Oh, I lay everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Pray, Koinonia. I surrender everything to you, Shabala Katalabosia. Everything I give. To you, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, Shalakata Paratokasai, withholding nothing, not my life, not my ego, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Lord, I surrender all to you and everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Take my heart. And mold it. Take my mind. It's my prayer alone. Transform it. Pray, Koinonia. Take my will. Yeah, yeah. Conform it to be yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord. Pray. Surrender everything. Take my heart, share it as Hananaya, and hold it. Take my mind, transform it. I give you my will, I give you my will, conform me to your. everything i hand it over to you romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21 what is the cure for fear let's examine the father of faith abraham romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21 please give it to us media the bible speaking about abraham this was a man who was trusting god had received the promise that his seed you know talking about isaac and then christ prophetically it says who against hope 
Now, watch the character of faith. I've shared with you, you can get the teaching, the series we've done on faith, that the starting point of faith is always the presence of a supposed impossibility. That's the starting point of your journey. There's no need to have faith over something that is already your experience. It says, who against hope did what? Believed in hope that he might become the father of nations according to that which was spoken. Go ahead. And being not weak in faith, he considered not. This is, this is how, I want to show you how fear works. It begins to bring logic into your faith process. Put two and two, you two use your head. Apostle is just prophesying and saying, before the end of this year, you will be a millionaire. You have the stupidity to say, amen. You see that? You are considering. Not just considering, you are considering in a doubtful way. To believe that that breast lump will just disappear within a few minutes. To believe that God will turn around your life, bring a helper to your destiny and wipe your tears. He considered not. That's the first thing the spirit of fear does. It makes you to begin to consider. You say, okay, it's not like I don't believe, but come on. Is it not that class I graduated with? Abba, let's be real. You hear that? Let's be real. I read so, so, so. I graduated with that class. Abba, and you ask your roommate or anybody, and say, if, even if it's you, will you employ me? He say, I won't employ you. Let me just tell you the truth. I will say my mind. You see how people say it. And they think it's a very wise statement. Me, I will tell you my own church mind. I won't do this and, and that. And then you carry that certificate and look at it. And say, God, is this how you are planned to disgrace me? And you drop it back and say it's over. And God says, ah, ah, you took me out of this equation and you are just being frustrated like that? Consider not. Brothers and sisters, when God speaks to you, take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there. Let God apologize to you for failing you, but on your own part, remain there. Are we together? He considered not his own body. When he was 100 years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. 20. Number two, he staggered not. Staggered not. This is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D. Some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. If God tells you, I will make you a nation, brothers and sisters, even if you are inside a hut, believe him. No plan B. Men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them. Like Esther, if I perish, I perish. This is how I walk with God. There's no possibility of plan B. If God tells me, son, this is how we are going, I say, Lord, let's go. If there is fire there, I remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I walk through that fire. That's what it takes to be a man of faith. Organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal. You must be a man of faith. You don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have. What then gives you the audacity to call nations together and assure them that they will experience the power of God? It takes faith. Are we together? You start a business, it takes faith. Who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services? And you have the audacity to commit funds, commit structures, commit leadership, and then open up and say, okay, the whole world come and be blessed. He staggered not. Some of you are already staggering. Lord, I trust you, but oh, staggered not. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Giving glory. Another word is giving praise. Giving praise. Full of praise. 21, the last verse. This was the third thing 
that he did and this is the third thing that fear does remember the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider brings logic into your spiritual process are we together number two is that it causes you to stagger and then number three it begins to do your persuasion the bible says i'm being fully persuaded conviction but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded it was paul who said i am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that he i'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able now hold on very powerful scripture that what he promised he was also what that means you the, when satan begins to bring fear the first thing that suffers is your revelation of god's ability 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 he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and in whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look if i say i'm going to give you 10 million if i say i'm going to give you 100 million that's how that conviction will start dwindling then if i say sam by next week you're going to carry a private jet the, your mind will just there will be no there's no provision in your mind to believe it. you're not even going to receive it are we together you will respectfully laugh but the truth is that you don't even believe him now you may not know but that you're laughing it looks like an it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you judas kissed jesus and said this is the guy so you can laugh the bible says mary had dwelt good like medicine but that laugh is not a laugh of faith that laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think i wouldn't do it like sarah's laughter are we together now and so when god says sam i'm going to change your life fear comes what does fear do he says look if god said he was going to give you a new shoe it makes sense god can raise somebody in koinonia but god says he's giving you a house by december is his god is god stupid that's fear talking to you and you sit and say i believe a shoe but i don't believe a house then you limit god like they did in the wilderness and only a shoe comes to you and comes to validate the limitation you placed on god but that does not mean he could not give you a house that does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you brothers and sisters tonight as we trust god we're going to do a very quick work here i want you to take away fear from your life fear of finances now that you know the whole recession is on people fear do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor i'm telling you this it's not because they are lazy it's because of the fear of it they think about lack so much they expect it it comes to them all wealthy people are courageous people they believe when god says i'm going to bless you you just sit and think and say which of my uncles uncle james poor uh, uncle sylvanus poor the other my father's younger brother poor oh god how are you going to now help me you see that my elder brother that was working in january they now sacked him god i will hundred thousand come and god looks at you and says with all you have been learning in koinonia this is how much you believe me but there are people who will say lord whether i believe you or not there's no option so now i'm, I'm i trust you do anything you can do and all of a, a sudden strangers will come and feed your flock and say i don't know you sister but while koinonia was going on you even you just look at it and say, no 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 don't be afraid god just told me please come and see me in my office tomorrow and he said what is he said god gave me an instruction gone are the days where people get testimonies and say god told somebody to do this you know there used to be times like that where god is now you don't hear those things because we don't believe it we have brought carnality to our lives you don't ever believe god directs men we believe satan sends men but we don't believe god directs men i want you to live in that reality where you believe reject fear my sister my brother hear me reject fear satan prevails over your life with fear brothers and sisters especially our gentlemen fear of establishment 
when will i get more? how much is one bag of nango cement and you start calculating you are considering that's fear it does you are not planning that one is not planning planning is correct you are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice but fear now say use your brain how much is one one plot of land you see that you now put it how much is two plots how much is a good car how much is dowry how much is is a, a furniture when you calculate everything you say according to my modest calculation is nine million and you laugh you just throw it away and say look let me just thank god you think that was an act of faith a man of faith says lord i do not know how the wind will come i don't know how the rain will come but i learned from scripture that you received for me power listen let me teach you there is a way you can frustrate satan you stagger not lord i don't know how it will happen but i know satan wants to bring something another scripture just wells up ah. but is it not god that you trusted yesterday that you fell remember not the former things that's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith that every time satan comes it is written shoots out of you like an arrow it is written it is written it is written ah, when you failed yesterday where was god and then he says for your shame i will give you double good reply for a spirit is it not you that everybody saw you and left you just looked at you and said you are a nobody and the bible says where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations with the limitation how are you going to go abroad are you not seeing if you ever if you go around the embassy they will so kick you out of that place and you sit down and remember joseph that he was in the prison and the bible says and the king not the king's aid the king himself sent for him kings can send for mean men and transform their lives hmm. when you are not full of the word when pressure pushes at you all that will come out is culture all that will come out is all of these things brothers and sisters god is going to do a quick work tonight is our last miracle service but i want you please and please i want you to join me believe this god he is believable he is reliable are you hearing what i'm saying god can change the stories of people please do not let anyone mock you oh, we are in a strange season where god is changing people's lives overnight overnight this overnight dimension i know in my spirit that people are entering it overnight when you see someone who was already on his way to being successful it's not strange but somebody overnight is saul also one of the prophets what happened to him overnight saul i thought you were looking for your father's donkey and saul says i encountered samuel and an anointing came upon me and all of a sudden things started happening hallelujah god did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes i just sat down and i i almost fought tears and fought tears and i said god you are dependable you are truly dependable brothers and sisters i want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this you will never say one thing in church and say another you don't have to fight with people when people come with their sarcasm just keep quiet a settled reality if i die trusting him i die but god is able somebody say god is able say it again god is able all our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories i won't go there because of time but the the challenges we are facing are not new it's from health am i right to money to breakthrough to deliverance to all of these things which one of them does not have a representation in the word of god is it your rent is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations brothers and sisters my god is able my god is able i don't know about your own god but my god is able i believe him and i'm not going to give room for the devil listen listen this scientific christianity we must we must rise beyond that realm of science and trust god 
Tell me how the cloud stay without a pillar. Nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust. It stays by itself. Hmm. God spoke to Job. Tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say, Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. This is the God we serve. If you doubt if God can look, man, look at my life. Look at my life. Brothers and sisters, I came tonight to challenge you to believe this God. You can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years, 45, and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic. Blessed is she that believes, both in the open and in the secret. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her alone, there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils I believe him brothers and sisters I know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but I want you to rise up again and to tell yourself I will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before we disgrace the devil in this place what's that song um, you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning trouble stay last away listen to the song carefully there's a man in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken, Shabala Kataya, just lift your head. Hey, oh. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. I know that I can stand. No matter what comes no matter what may come my way. way. My life is in my your hands. Life with Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I can With Jesus I can make it. With Him I know I can stand. With Him I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in Your hands. Hallelujah. Listen, there is no giving up in this kingdom. There is no. Did you hear what I said? There is no giving up in this kingdom. I want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say, Lord, I'm taking it back. That dream, that business. I started it by January, by March, I was crying. But at your word, I'm going back again. I'm going back. You are faithful. Let them laugh at you, you know. Hold on, please. I was studying, um, I think it was last week or so. I was just studying a video on the great inventors, the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and i was reading through their lives one by one i only got to number five or six and i stopped and i told myself i said joshua selman don't you ever complain again i said my god why didn't they teach us the obstacles that these men had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him 
I'm motivating somebody and I'm speaking to you. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. God is dependable. Kill fear in your life. When we start to pray, I'd like you to pray with all your heart. And as you pray, I'd like you to trust God. You may feel the pain of the sickness. But as you pray, you want it and say, just a few minutes. I will only be patient with you for a few more minutes. And you are leaving my body and living forever. You may not be sick in your body, but you have myriads of issues that only God can step in. Financial issues, health issues. I'd like you to bring it before the God of your salvation. And say, God, I know you are able, oh. I don't know how you would do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it i know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you i'm not before a herbalist i know my god is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> those outside pray lord i believe you once again hallelujah i believe you once again the god of my salvation the God of Jeshuron, I believe you again for my family. I believe you again for my academics. I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. talk to him tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure I arise like a giant. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet will I rise. Yet will I rise. My God is still alive. I know his name. Jesus, the son of the living God. Pray. I came to him. The one who can change my life. Change my ministry. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. We may miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. We may come, we listen listen to me don't ask how it will happen when i stepped in i heard i heard i think it was mary i have followed the issue of her dad when some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this is my god god is not a man no god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord 
God is not a president. He's not a governor. God is not an ambassador. God all by himself. When he steps in, all of a sudden he begins to shift things. Listen, brothers and sisters, hear me. I want you to believe God to shift things. This is, this is my assignment. Believe him to push things in your life. In one minute, I'd like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say, Lord, I believe you. You will change it. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Lord, I believe you. You will change my financial situation. Lord, I believe you. You can send helpers my way. Men are still on earth. Lord, I believe you. You can lift me. Lord, I believe you. You can give my life speed. If you came here for this service tonight, pray. Pray. I believe you. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Elohim Adonai. Elohim Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Elohim Adonai. 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 hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want I may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we're going to start tonight praying for the sick first there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we're going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god 
and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we're coming there but i have to pray i have to pray for breakthrough hallelujah just keep your hands don't say anything don't do anything hallelujah keep your hands please let's just walk with the spirit of god breakthrough the lord is bringing breakthrough now when when you hear me say this it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout the falling under the anointing is just an evidence it, it doesn't it has totally nothing about is for you to receive it doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say wow this is the one god is touching no i'm teaching you how to receive you receive by faith it has nothing to do with falling or not falling are we together now you receive by faith what is breakthrough the grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward there is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry I stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people I'm telling you I'm seeing doors these are like doors I, I've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening I'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow God do what he's doing Shabakata, the breakthrough grace, the breaker anointing, changing people's lives, changing people's lives, changing people's lives. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive it all over this building, all over the overflows, all over the overflows. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of those challenges. thank you jesus thank you jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk god is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough and the lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon i'm hearing in my spirit december 2nd this is from now till that time december 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange work the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace i stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the spirit of god there are families that must enter this anointing i provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families shabatakata families lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three i'm seeing god touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there god is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace i 
I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. Fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are at the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketea is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick first because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you are sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow. Uh, let's see. Those in overflow one. Those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow one. You are going to come out here. Um, okay. Inside and part of overflow too the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease a termin that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the lord please pass away jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um jimmy and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are overflow two um Benga and Kenny, you'll be at Overflow 1 outside. Mike, you join um, whoever is you know, going to Overflow 2. I think that, that would be okay. Those online, release your faith. Go ahead, guys. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare. Let the corporate grace of the Spirit flow in this place. Let there be signs and wonders through your Holy Son. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus. Let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen i don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to 
do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no go fine mm -hmm. praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ father we thank you let there be miracles Away. You took away the 
the chains and cords that held me back. My beautiful, you are taking away the shame, uh, taking away the pain. You make my life so Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Our time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You have this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier, that's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you and they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is, this is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Justina, Mama. Pray for you. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you, and I decree and declare: Let that anointing come upon your life, change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Ma? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. There's, I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? He's dead, son. He's dead. He's what? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Yes, um... I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. Madam, I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead, he's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama, the Lord is going to, I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but there is a yoke of suffering. This is the first time God is showing me this. Wahala. And God is going to take it away. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know about her daughter's issue. I've been following up with the family. But I look at this woman and the Lord said there is a cause of hardship nothing that anybody does really really works it must turn later on and there are many people like that where well, soon i'm coming to you that thing must leave you i told you about this hardship hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile hardship is more than poverty praise the lord my mind the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord himself locate you in jesus name i pray amen your name is Justina. My mother and my younger sister. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, your mother and your younger sister. In the name of Jesus. The prayer I want to pray for you now. I can't remember which miracle service, but please just help my She's under the anointing. Get a chair or something. Someone donate your chair. Let her sit down and calm down. God is doing something in her family. Just keep her somewhere, please. I've prayed it before. 
but the lord is saying i should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward it's entering a season of reward it's entering a season of reward the lord himself will make it happen i'm hearing affinity 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 please make sure it's your name what's your name the affinity i'm talking about is here somewhere um you're younger i'll pray for you affinity this person is outside affinity the lord is telling me there's somebody outside affinity If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside. Read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a Philly king? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing... You know the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness. If I don't pray for you, your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men. In the name of Jesus, Zebrakatos Calabriata, I command by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance for you now. I lay my hands on your head and I decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the Christ, I command it to leave you now. And I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name? Agnes. 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 I wish I had time. Kai. Agnes. You are Agnes? You're what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes. Who is that? Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. I'll pray for you, but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord your agnes your mother are they sisters who is this it's their wife but they are all sisters three of them are sisters who is this she's their brother's wife she, i'm looking at this and the lord is saying let's avert i'm looking at this picture it's empty but i'm saying rest in peace huh lord jesus by your mercy she lit she's alive I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace, He's going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. It will make you a light. I'm seeing a torchlight shining. And the Lord is saying, this is your destiny to come with great illumination. In the name of Jesus, your Agnes, two of you, as I lay my hands on you, whatever the issue is, the Lord is stepping in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ <sighs> Jesus how time flies see these are some of the things that before you know it just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to we're going to pray there are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance my sister this is the holding photos come come yes come now my dear guy uh, i have to pray for you what i'm seeing who is this one again agnes madam your agnes i have to pray for you uh -uh. where are you coming from stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die i kept looking at her because i'm seeing burial ceremony happening and i'm seeing her same face inside the coffin what is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of jesus christ please pray you may not know how it doesn't matter in the name of jesus we avert death hallelujah father i lay my hands on this madam and in the name of jesus we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her Amen. by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus my dear i want to pray for you are you married look at me look at me i want to pray for you there is serious bad luck in your life you know what they say bad luck bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening but when there is nothing at all happening in your life it's not good in the name of jesus i lay my hands may the god of all grace may the god of mercy step in right now in the name of jesus christ by the power of god's grace come darling come this small girl i keep seeing this girl again and again god is going to use this girl in a very mighty way in a very mighty way believe me this forget that you are seeing a little girl god is going to use her in ways that will surprise people father use this lady beyond imagination in the name of jesus let her experience your grace and your power in the name of jesus your grace and your power in the name of jesus there was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here just where i'm standing like an elderly man one one gentleman and a lady where are they please look for them are you together come how are you sir can i pray for you your, your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw this since when i came up it's just that now the lord said minister to them i don't know you never seen you but i want to pray for you let me tell you sir except the lord builds a house they labor in vain hmm? except the lord builds a house it doesn't mean i'm, I'm what do you do i'm seeing contracts it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things that brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that god would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because i noticed it's like you are communicating then communication broke there's no communication. yes is that true i want to pray for you you believe god can change stories you heard what i said here what's your relationship oh you are the wife wife god is about to visit your family in say amen in remarkable ways you are an architect you believe what i'm telling you look let me tell you something you see brothers and sisters we're going to pray but this thing eh, is not by power and by might one two is not by hustling are we together it's not by just god uses men but blessings don't come from men they come from god through men to you i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you have children how many is that all
don't be embarrassed i usually will not you saw that i kept quiet abby huh because i'm hearing the cry of a baby and i'm seeing a hospital and i'm seeing it's a baby girl this is what i'm seeing you see i'm not <laughs> i hope i'm not messing two of you up you have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances but then please don't be surprised whatever happens god is in control it's the will of god eh? um two children is not what because what i'm seeing you will be surprised i don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of jesus hold my hands the lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of jesus i release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from abuja in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands the guys outside are still there are we done okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to god is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now are we together please i like your heart to be connected there are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny i'm going to pray and as i begin to pray i want you to believe god for a miracle a miracle come the lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family that this family he will not rest until this family enters her rest that's what the lord is telling me. praise the lord lift your hands sharp record to superior listen when we pray like this it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest now that's not the idea but that there are spirits there are spirits lady look at me shift please usher shift let me talk to that lady just tap her let her see me and noise her hold on just where you are lift your hands i'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you i stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90 percent of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what he will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus we do this every time not as a ritual it is a name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny it's time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of jesus inside and outside i command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry 
sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave your destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we are still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i cost you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost begin to settle people in the name of jesus i command it i command it everything everything that is not of god of this role everything i cost you i cost you now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now be free in the name of jesus
lift your hands i decree i decree i'm seeing chains chains on this road lose them now lose them now lose them now lose them now by the anointing of the holy spirit lose them now be sensitive as the anointing comes to you is bringing you out now in the name of jesus 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 hallelujah listen those of you outside i want you to be sensitive our time is gone but we're going to be very fast as i pass your row many of you will see that the anointing of the spirit will come on you the lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of jesus right now let there be breakthrough from the front row right down as i walk through in the name of jesus i stretch my hands miracles breakthroughs right now by the anointing of the spirit receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here a prayer I command doors be open. Doors be open. Just believe by faith. Doors be open. Doors be open. As I come close to you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is bringing that miracle right now. Let it be over. Let it be over. I stretch my hands. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. This last miracle service. My sister, your tears are over. That's what the Lord is saying. Your tears are over. The mighty God is moving on your behalf. Please lift your hands. I command it. Receive right now. Receive right now. An anointing is coming on people. Receive right now. Believe by faith. Receive right now. Change their stories. Change their stories change the left and right left and right the holy ghost is touching people over over captivity over as i come to your road believe by faith i stretch my hands somebody in this road your destiny has been tied i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now the anointing of the spirit is coming on you wherever you are i lose you now receive it right now in the name of jesus bad luck bad luck leave him now over over forever over forever over the lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this row i stretch my hands receive that grace right now receive that grace receive that grace by the anointing of the spirit i cast this devil out of him now in the name of jesus there's somebody here the lord is saying open the door of marriage I open it. I don't know who that is. Receive the anointing now. Receive the anointing now. Shaba sotos ekatos katali katos shabrekete koto shekete kapara katos kalibra katos shikeriatas. Now, please, those of you, this will take note. I'm seeing an anointing. Shabe koto osata elekete koshoto brekete katali katos shabrekeria. There is a great man of God that God is raising here. Out of this row, this row here, an anointing is coming on someone. A strange grace, please help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never, never be the same. Never be the same. God is solving people's problems. It has taken 10 years, but I'm solving it. The Lord is saying, it has taken 10 years, but I'm solving your problem. Lady, look at me. The Lord is wiping your tears. That's what the Lord is saying, it's over 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 by the spirit over by the spirit for your family over over by the spirit in the name of jesus please i want you to receive by faith believe someone is being healed here god is taking away a family sickness a pattern let it go now this row i'm standing on please believe release your faith in the name of jesus i'm standing here and i'm hearing a new song a new song god is giving some persons here a new song receive it right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus, please believe. My dear, look at me, lift your hands. This lady, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands here. I'm seeing the number 11. Lord, everyone that must enter their destiny here, I separate you from witchcraft now. 11 people, right now. Sukatos kaparu katosh. There's someone in the media stand around the media there. I'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension. I saw someone at the media stand. I'm seeing two people at the, the minister's row. The minister's row, the Lord is touching them. Two people, a strange anointing for speed. I'm stretching my hands here right now. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Step into that dimension of your destiny. Hallelujah. Please everyone, very quickly, our time is up. I want you to lift your prayer request. Pass it to the last person quickly. Quickly, please. Our time is up. Let's, let's just be, please be patient with me. We'll be done in a jiffy, but we need to do this a very quick walk. It doesn't matter where I stand. I don't have to stand in front. Just leave, please, ushers, very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them. Just lift it, pass it to the last person, and that last person, lift it up, please. Lift it up so that the ushers can collect. Everyone, say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that between now and the end of this year, every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray i decree and i declare that between now and december every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of jesus Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results. I receive it right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. As you are praying, you are receiving it. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Please pray it. Pray with faith. A manifestation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Every human agent. That needs to partner with God. To take me to the place of destiny I call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of Jesus after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dormant gift every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated I activate it by the anointing lift your voice and pray every dormant gift every ability every dormant gift every ability by the anointing of the holy ghost activated say in 
the name of Jesus the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God two more prayer points say in the name of Jesus I take authority over the spirit of fear in my life in my family I decree and declare that I no longer fear lift your voice and pray I curse the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death fear of sickness last prayer point in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season I open up my spirit and I receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave those online i want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from just whether it's your device whatever just believe by faith families gather together and we're here praying we're believing god the god of all flesh i want you to stretch your hands here as i bow my knees to the god of heaven and pray on these requests in the name of jesus christ all i want you to be saying is lord everything i've dropped here i pick it up as a testimony are we together open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here please pray lekata parokato sabregadesh I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata Prakatosh. Lekata pakoroto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, oh God. Turn it around, oh God. Impossible situations. Turn it around, oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare that the same way I'm stepping on this request, that's how you rise above every challenge here. no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh 
and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir i decree and declare this is what the lord is ministering to me someone is saying lord i know you would do it but can you do it before december in the name of jesus may my god surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily would take years to be done but in the name of jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when god helps you financially it doesn't advance your life people who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked are we together many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances this finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again i decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night if there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus i put laughter in your mouth <laughs> hallelujah mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man if you are here trusting god for the fruit of the womb before this year ends you will confirm that you are already pregnant in the name of jesus listen i'm prophesying for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare by the spirit of the living god everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying lord where do i settle where do i go to do i do business do i get a job in the name of jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my god come to you and visit you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray for you the visions you saw by january not one of them has happened now and you are wondering i'm seeing someone you have a list of 10 things not prayer requests 10 things that you agreed with god at the beginning of this year not one has happened the lord is saying i should tell you all 10 must happen before the end of this year in the name of jesus christ hallelujah some of us are in situations where you cannot help yourself you need a helper this is a a helper somebody to just come and lift you i don't know who taught you that god doesn't send men to help men listen let me tell you 
this is a wicked world where nobody helps you on his own but my brother my sister when god points you and asks men to help you to surprise you the god who has helped me i have seen small of god's grace in this help oh i pray for you ebenezer the one that helps men may my god help you may my god help your ministry may my god help your business in the name of jesus christ listen as you're standing here everything caused struggle in your life you are waving it goodbye tonight in the name of jesus listen i know some of you don't believe it that's why you will not see it but for those who believe it i say it again that anything caused struggle in the name of jesus christ the same way when the sun comes out it dries the water that is on a wet cloth i pray that may god arise and wipe every tears anyone here saying oh god don't just visit me alone come through for my family i pray for you there are families the kind of breakthrough they need is only god that can give them i ask that god to give them now in the name of jesus christ all of you here in business i prophesy to you by the anointing of the holy spirit i don't care what you are doing provided it's in righteousness i decree and declare the grace that makes things succeed let it come upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here or any of your loved ones due for promotion and they've been sitting on their promotion because of tribal sentiments i decree and declare like the chronicles was opened by king ahasuerus and mordecai was lifted overnight i declare that may god use men to lift your people to their rightful place every force that has covered anyone's glory here you keep seeing things in the spirit but they never manifest i decree upon you in the name of jesus christ between now and the end of the year may the god of all grace surprise you if there is anything in your life that is missing missing script missing result missing brother missing sister missing whatever it is in the name of jesus just as samuel prophesied and the donkey went back to the house of kish i command everything that has left you to return to you two more prophetic words and we're done The Lord is still asking me to pray over the power to prosper. I know that many of you, this is not some prosperity jargon. Just believe this thing, trust God, settle it and do other important kingdom things. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, by the God who has helped this ministry. I pray there is, there is an exact anointing that prospers men. Where in one day, God can give you someone's salary of a lifetime. I pray for you. If you have never seen that dimension of favor, I stretch my hands to you. May it happen in your life now. You will wake up in the morning and they will hand you landed properties by the favor of God. If there is any family here that as a family with matured grown-up children you are still staying in a rented apartment I decree and declare you may not know how it will happen but by the finger of God I lift you to your own place If there is any human being partnering with darkness 
to see that you will not see 2018 in the name of jesus i stand here may the sword of judgment fall on them now hallelujah listen to me if there is anything that according to god's calendar should have entered your life but was delayed through whatever reason i'm saying it now in the name of the lord god almighty whom i serve between now and december an avalanche of pending miracles released to you hear me there are people who god will give business ideas overnight and by the end of this year you'll be feeding others in the name of jesus may the god i serve take hardship out of your life may the god that i serve take sorrow out of your life may the god that i serve take up today down tomorrow from your life finally i pray for your spiritual life please be sensitive i decree and i declare if your spiritual life dies everything dies i stretch my hands a dimension of the gift of the spirit that you are trusting god for for a long time and has not come upon your life a dimension of the anointing you have trusted god for but has not come upon your life a dimension of prayer you have trusted god for and has not yet come upon your life a dimension of revelation and illumination you are trusting god for and has not come upon your life a dimension of influence in the spirit visions revelations the prophetic as i stretch my hands let there be a distribution of these graces now receive it right now let there be a distribution of these graces now hear me this is the last miracle service and i decree and declare to you everything that represents triumph as declared by the mouth of god almighty i command and i declare that the angel that was sent to signify this prophetic word may they confirm that word in your life hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Sing it one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Our time is gone, but this is our last. This is not the last service, it's only the last miracle service now very quickly please keep standing everyone there are people standing here this is your last miracle service we're not going to have any other one for this year we have about two three more services and we're done completely as a ministry for the year you are right here and the lord is speaking to you and saying son daughter you need to make your ways right with me don't argue it your overflow one overflow two you know overflow three and anywhere connecting with us online wherever you are you're rededicating your life to jesus or you are making that decision for the first time please our time is up but then i cannot but give you an opportunity to truly truly receive jesus wherever you are don't be ashamed leave your seat very quickly i'm counting one to five for the sake of time make your way to the front right now let's honor them as they come one god bless you as you come 
God bless you as you come. There should be many people coming. There should be many people. I expect so many people coming. Two, clear the way for those coming from overflow. Two, overflow. Three, because of your distance, just walk to the front of your projector screen. Overflow. Three, because of time, just walk to the front of your projector screen. Three, someone here is saying, Lord, I'm tired of everything. Failing, tired. I'm handing everything to you. Four, Jesus is still speaking to people. Make your way to the front. God bless you. God bless you. One more count and we're done. Is someone still coming? Win that war tonight and run to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. God bless you. Lift your hands, those of you in front and those connecting online, wherever you are in the silence of your room, your phone, your device, wherever. I want you to just believe with me. Lift your hands and say this after me say it sincerely don't just recite it as a poem in the name of jesus say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me tonight i receive you truly and sincerely as my Lord and my Savior, I decree and I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit. Please help the person under the anointing. And I declare that the Spirit of God lives in me. The grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. I stretch my hands, the anointing of the Spirit, smashing away every challenge in everyone's life. Those of you standing, I decree that every legal access the devil has over your life, I decree and declare that your sins are forgiven. A new chapter is opened over your destiny. I release you to a life of victory, a life of power and effective Christian life. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. All of you, there is a gentleman waving his hands. Please just follow this gentleman and they will um, communicate a few details to you and you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor God as they go. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you